has some words to share with us. I just want to say that I really appreciate the time to speak um, from a, a white person, a predominantly white organization. Um, as we've heard tonight, we know that Canada has a problem with racism and Nova Scotia has a problem with racism. Tied closely to capitalism, racism is everywhere. It's in the geographic, cultural, and economic segregation in our cities and in our communities. Capitalism is the economic ideology of liberalism and liberals with a kind white face and confused political outlook and which gives us false hope in the Justin Trudeaus of the world while everything around us continues to burn to the ground, deepening political disenfranchisement and despair. <laughs> right now, the internet is full of faces of white men lit brightly by torches, mouths contorted by anger, chins uplifted, and loudly, surely claiming what is theirs. They yell, you will not replace us. They threaten black lives, Jewish lives, any life that isn't white. It's easy for most white people to reject these faces, identifying them as the white face of hate, overt racism, fascism, and white nationalism. The difficult thing to admit is that we Every last one of us who benefits from the oppression of others is inherently racist. The, the, capitalism and racism are all about self-preservation, keeping what white people have. We call it self-preservation, but really it's hate. It's hate that's normal. It's hate that we've come to think is okay. If preserving or keeping something that we have leads to the oppression of others, our preservation is hate and oppression. Racism reinforces this white privilege, white skin privilege, both in our institutions and our personal relationships. White skin privilege is a reality and racist segregation is present under capitalism. Now is the time to stand in solidarity and resist. We need to learn the ways that white people and settler governments have broken treaties in past and continue to break and ignore the treaties now. We need to learn to say the words, we are all treaty people, comfortably with an understanding that we are all responsible to respect and abide by the treaties, all of us. We need to acknowledge that there is geographic, cultural, and economic segregation in our cities and communities and question what role we play in this. We know that capitalism allows for virtually unmonitored and uninterrupted use of our natural resources contamination of our land, air, and water, and is resulting in climate change. We all know this. Racialized communities are the most likely to have their rights ignored and denied. Garbage dumps, factory farms, industry, environmental violations are most frequently located in close proximity to black, indigenous, and communities of color. We need to learn about what environmental racism is, where it is happening in Nova Scotia and Canada, and speak out vocally against it. We need to support organizations and people that are asserting their rights and fighting against environmental racism by offering our time and financial support when we're able. We need to learn about the role of police under capitalism. We need to learn about street checks and carding. We need to think before we call the police. And I mean that, think before you call the police.
artists of all kinds, authors, events, projects, etc. by black people, indigenous people, and people of color. Choose to support these first. It's possible. Go out of your way to find them. Our city is full of them. We need to financially support initiatives, financially support projects and organizations that support black, indigenous, and youth of color. Especially those that originate in or organized by people from those communities. We need to volunteer our time where it's needed and wanted. We need to think long and hard about the statues, the place names, the schools, the streets, the parks that exist with names like Cornwallis, and the fact that we are a city that venerates murderers. Is this okay with us? Why is it not okay with us? If it is okay with us, what do we want to see done about it? Start by demanding, and demanding, we've all asked for it here repeatedly, that our city officials bring down the statue of Cornwallis and that the park be officially renamed. Demand that the Cornwallis statue be Yes. Yeah. 